Hi, I'm Dr. Debulina Ghosh, Assistant Professor of Sociology at Georgia Southwestern State University. Today I'll talk about caste and class, which are two major systems of social stratification across cultures. And I'll also discuss how they are different from each other. First, what is the caste system? Caste system is a form of social stratification that ranks groups of people based on heredity or ancestry. It often restricts people to certain professions or who they can marry or interact with based upon ancestral lines and family history and background. So, caste is a closed stratification system that does not allow a person to change their position within the hierarchy, no matter what they have achieved individually. Generally, members of higher ranking castes tend to be more prosperous and have better access to opportunities and material resources compared to lower ranking castes who live in extreme poverty and suffer discrimination. India, for example, is the country most closely associated with the caste system, especially among the Hindus who constitute the country's majority population and the dominant religious group. The caste system among Hindus ranks individuals into one of five categories. On the apex of the hierarchy, you have the Brahmins that comprises of priests and teachers, followed by the Kshatriyas, constituting of warriors and rulers, the Vaishyas, the comprising of merchants, traders, and farmers, whereas you have the Shudras involving laborers. And at the bottom of the hierarchy, you have the Dalits and backward classes, who are also known as the untouchables or outcasts, and they all do menial jobs. For instance, they include street sweepers, toilet cleaners, and human and animal waste removers. The Dalits are the most oppressed of all five groups. So these five groups are further divided into 3,000 castes and 25,000 sub-castes each, approximately based on their specific occupation. According to the Hindus, the caste system reflects karma. According to this belief, one's membership in a particular caste is based on one's deed in their past life. The apartheid system in South Africa is another example of the caste system, where a legal separation of racial and ethnic groups was enforced between 1948 and 1991 that resulted in great disparity among those in the different strata of the society. Similarly, the Jim Crow South functioned as a racial caste system in the U.S. between 1877 and mid-1960s. It restricted the freedom and rights of African Americans and segregated them from the whites by enforcing laws and rules of interaction. Next, what is the class system? Social class is a system of stratification practiced primarily in capitalist societies, such as the US, that ranks groups of people according to their income, wealth, education, power, and prestige. Sociologists also refer to it as socioeconomic status to keep in mind the social as well as the economic basis of the system of stratification. Unlike the caste system, the class system is much less rigid. All the children tend to inherit the social class of their parents. They can move up or down the class ladder during their lifetime. Additionally, even though social class is not based on race, ethnicity, gender, or age, there is an overlap between class and other variables. For example, whites tend to be wealthier than people of color, and men tend to be wealthier than women generally. On the very top, you have the upper class, followed by the upper middle class, the middle class, the working class, or the lower middle class, the working poor, and at the bottom, you have the underclass. The upper class consists of the wealthiest people in the class system, such as the Rockefellers, the Carnegies, Bill Gates and Elon Musk, who possesses most of the wealth of the country, and they make up 1% of the US population. The upper middle class includes professionals and managers, and they make up about 14% of the US population. On the other hand, the middle class includes white collar workers, that is, technical and lower managerial jobs, and has a broad range of incomes, and they make up about 30% of the US population. The working or the lower middle class includes blue collar or service industry workers, and these members are less likely to have college degrees, they make up about 30% of the US population. The working poor members likely work manual and service jobs and seasonal employment, and they make up about 13% of the US population. The underclass members likely to be employed only part-time or unemployed, and they make up about 12% of the US population. So thanks for watching this video. Please like and share it and subscribe to the Sociology Professor channel.